trabajo. You can put Nano at blue on screen, but but you know JR, JR might pull through. You know, it might be JR versus Clue. You never know. I think uh, about the matchup before I called this match for screen, but uh, I think both players would be willing to sit back. But right now we are getting quite a bit of action. Uh, dead even game. That was that down air actually beating out the the Eagles. Big side B to try to get back, but this is, uh, Aloha's kind of get- Oh, goes a little too deep. Tries to catch the two frame on on that down smash, but, uh, oh, I like what Crooks was going for there. It's kind of a quick melon in case maybe Aloha decided to de jolt his way in there. Loha did run away with a lot of percent on that edge guard, but um, we're back to another ledge grab. Oh, uh, the air dodge up. Maybe tried to go to the platform, but it wasn't long enough. Wow, this, the T tilt's gonna interrupt that side beat. Usually, you don't see Pac Man's recovery getting called out like that. Oh, kind of running away with that uh, that lead now. Maybe a repeat of last suck. Okay. Oh wow, what a reversal coming out from Crooks. We thought Aloha got that spike 100%, but actually armors through it and sends Aloha into the blast zone. So all of a sudden, Crooks has gone back into this game. I was about to say, like. It was gonna look rough, but uh, we're we're seeing another edge guard situation here, though. Been a little bit rough, but Crooks able to make it back. We're just seeing all this constant barrage of T, so it's gonna lead into a nair up snag. Oh god, tries to read the hard roll in, but Aloha definitely knows better. At least that Hydrant is blocking a lot of T-Jolts, so... Ooh, these backers, they're pretty safe, but they're not handing them mark, but they use up there as well. Free throw from that up B, actually. And... Oh wow, what a drag down combo, almost killing Crook. And go for the up B, up for the up B instead of the side B, and that's gonna be it for Crooks. <laughs> At least for game one. Let's see if he's got anything in the tank for game two. I think, it, yeah, definitely a good Pac Man stage. Oh, these uppies, yeah, going into free for all a lot. I'm. What song? Do you mean my menu song? 
I forgot to turn off my mod, I'm sorry. Alright, nice nair from blood. A lot of upbeats actually coming out in neutral from Crooks. That's not something I see other pack men doing, at least at least in our region. The bell is on deck, and Crooks with the lead, but this downside bullet kill? No, not yet. Oh, these teeth. Okay, I actually get the armor, uh, so it's not hopeless. Oh, okay, nice snipe with the bell. A little too far away to get a follow up, but uh, Crooks proving that he's got what it takes, but uh, Aloha saying, I'm still in control of this set. And I think it's down to whether Crooks can take this stock right now without taking too much. Oh, there it is. Even game. You can, yes. I don't want to bother you. Oh, you're good, yeah. Uh, 2 0 for Gyromite? Oh, for you. Cool. Alright, I thought we had the upset of a sentry for a second, Pope Penta 2 0 for Gyromite, but actually it was the other way around, so. Pope Pen will be moving on to Quinner's Quarters against Winner of Dark Brandon and Maze. Alright, I'm looking back and looks like things are pretty even. Crook's still a little bit behind, but... Oh, I love that. Sliding towards that. I want to see more of that. These T-Dolts though are just really, really impressive. Even though you got the Hydrant to block it, like, it's still gonna be that added pressure. Nice P you said? But, Loha. Gets the down air, I mean neutral air in the up, up throw actually. I expected maybe a down set, but I think the water might have messed it up. Oh, the bell! Crooks, now in the lead. This is definitely great to see after what Cro uh, how game one went. Now Aloha gotta be the one to approach. Usually, usually Pika's game plan is to get the lead and then uh, let you come to him, but... Oh no! <laughs> yeah, these T-Dolts, even though uh, Hydrant blocks the T-Dolts, it's a little bit uh, a little bit risky because it can hit the Hydrant back. Alright, Crook's now kind of running away with this. The reverse apple, very tricky with it. Let's see what Aloha can do. He definitely wants to take this game and fit set in two. We'll go for the grab, but that forest tilt is gonna. Ooh! Fell on lead, scary stuff. It's not fast enough to cover the roll though. They're gonna send Aloha off stage, goes to the other side, nice recovery. And oh, Crooks just oversteps the grab, but luckily gets sent the other way by Thunder. That might have killed if it if it sent the other way. Just getting really close. Aloha's making it back, but it's one touch away from death, and that's gonna be it. We're going to game number three. That's okay. Uh, the, the... Okay, they're not they're not done yet. Okay. Oh, okay. They, 
Yeah, the cat wants Nano Ad versus Blue on screen. Cat wants that on screen. He wants that. Yeah, yeah, that would be on stream. Okay, that's on stream. Guaranteed on stream. That's guaranteed on stream. Actually, we'll put that on stream next time. Okay. That could be the instant. We're starting. We're just starting this app. You guys can Okay. Let's see how this game goes. Stop the battle. Alright, let's get it. Game number three, we're going to town and city. Definitely Aloha's counter pick of choice. Lots of, a lot more platforms to work with, a lot more space to run away, but can't run away from that 56% combo. Nice D drop on the apple, dude. This is a complete reversal from game number one. Okay, gets rid of that hydrant. Bell in hand though, and that's gonna be scary. Get the bear. Nothing uh, crazy though. Oh, it's gonna be livid. And the apple, wow. The ball oh, it's over. No contest. Uh, alright, so I think next we have...